The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle, had many expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned up all her clothes and his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but was only able to find a burnt-up paper bag. So she put the paper bag on and followed the dragon. He was easy to find because he left a trail of burnt forests and horse's bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took a hold and knocked and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess! I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am very, very busy traveling. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose cut. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away! I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. It, is it true that you're the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up fifty forests. <laughs> Fantastic, said Elizabeth, and she and the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. <laughs> Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge, deep breath. But this time, nothing came out. The dragon didn't have enough fire left to even cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just ten seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon. And he jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just ten seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! So, the dragon jumped up and flew around the world in just... 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he laid down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over to the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth! You're just a mess. You smell all bad and like ashes. Your hair is all tangled and, and you're wearing a dirty old paper bog. Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. Page is stuck, excuse me.
Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you're a bum. They didn't get married after all. The end.